Assalamualaikum and good day to all my students. So last class we have learned how to interface STM32 with 7 segment. We had learned how to display digit in 7 segment, how to develop a count up and countdown counter. So now in this series, we want to use another type of display which is a liquid crystal display or in the short form, we call it LCD. In many abandoned projects, displaying important stuff on a display unit is very important as it gives us the user an easy way to interact with the system. So take your energy meters, weather stations, heart rate monitoring system and many more. All of these projects have a display unit in their final implementation. When we're talking about a display, it doesn't have to be fancy, colorful, graphical display. A simple character display is more than sufficient for displaying important stuff like readings from the sensors, the values of ADCs, status of relay, and etc. So in this tutorial, we will do the same. We will interface a 16x2 LCD with STM32F103 microcontroller. We will use the bare metal method in programming. We will learn how to write the coding to display some simple text just to see the output and LCD. Okay, the most commonly used character based LCD are based on Hitachi HD44780 controller or other which are compatible with HD44580. Although they, they display only the text, they come in many size and color. For example, we have eight times 2 LCD display, we have 8 times 1 LCD display, we have 16 times 1, 60 times 2, 20 times 2, and 20 times 4 LCD display with white text on a blue background or with black text on green background and many more. Okay, before we go further, let's first take a look at the LCD pin out LCD pin out so the following image show the typical 60 times 2 alphanumeric character LCD display the term 60 times 2 means that it has 60 column and two row or two line each column in a row used to display the character and hence in 60 times 2 display you can display a maximum of 32 character 32 character at a time. Okay, let's zoom at the pin diagram. This type of LCD has 16, 16 pin. Pin 1, 2, pin 16. Pin 15 and 16 is just for LCD backlight. It's not a compulsory to connect these two pin. Pin 1 and 2 pin 3 is for the power the LCD. So, pin 1 is connected to VSS, this is to ground, and pin 2 is VCC, connected to 5 port, and pin 3 is to control the contrast of the LCD. If, one, if you want to adjust the LCD contrast, so we need to connect this pin to the variable resistor. Otherwise, we can just pin it to ground. And then, continue with pin 4. Is for RS. RS is stand for register select. For example, when RS is set to low, we then we are sending a command to the LCD, like the cursor to the specific location, clear the display, scroll the display to the right, and so on. And then when RS is set to the high, we are sending data to the LCD. Okay, next a uh, pin 5 is read write. So this pin is to control whether to reading or writing to the LCD. Since in many cases we are just using this LCD as output device, so we are going to tie this pin to low or to ground. This falls is into the write mode. And then pin number 6 is for enable. 
this pin is used to enable the display meaning when this pin is set to low the LCD does not care what is happening with the RX right? RS and the data pass line when this pin is set to high the LCD processing the incoming data so we need every time we send a command or we send a character we need to send high to low pass signals to the enable pin and the last 8 pin from pin from 7 to pin 14 uh, 8 bit data pin so we will send the command or data through this pin 8 bit data for example if you want to see uh, the uppercase character A on the display so we will set uh, send set this pin to uh, 41 01 00 001 or 41 in ASCII so we send 41 to the uh, LCD it will show the capital A in uh, LCD. Okay, as explained uh, in the last slide, so RS pin is used to select which register we want to use, whether the command, re uh, command register or data register. If we want to send a command like clear LCD, so we need to select the command register. To send the command, we simply need to select the command register. The f these are the, the following step. Are the step to send the command to the LCD. So the step is first we move data or command to the LCD port and then we select the command register. It means RS is equal to 0. And then we select the right operations. And then we send uh, we send an enable signal to the uh, high to low pass to the enable signal and then wait some delay for LCD to process the command. Okay, to send the data, we simply need to select the data register. The RS is equal to 1. Everything is same as the command routine except for the step number 2 which we need to send RS pin to the high. Okay, each space in LCD has their own address. Okay, we start with the address 60, the address 80, 80 in hex. Okay, the position 0, line 1. The first position is position 0 for line 1. So, the address is 80. And then, post 1, line 1, address 81. And then, we continue until the last position address is 8f in hexa and then for line 2 position 0 line 2 address is c0 position 1 line 2 address is c1 and up to position 15 line 2 address is cf okay here's some lcd command so we can refer to LCD data sheet for more information about the LCD command. Here in this table, I summarize some important list of LCD command. The first is 038, 0x38 zero in hexa, uh, th uh, 38. This is for 8 bit, 2 line, 8 uh, dot matrix. And then 06, this is uh, entry mode. And then 0e. 0E for display on, cursor on. So we need to on the display and on the cursor. So we send a command 0E. And then 01 to clear the LCD. And before we uh, write something to LCD, we need to clear the LCD. So we send a command 01 to clear the LCD. And then if we want to start with position 0, line 1, send the command 80 is the address for position 0, line 1. If you want to start at the position 0, line 2, so we send a command C0. Okay, that's all for the LCD introduction. So we will continue with the next LCD video on how to interface STM32 with LCD. Okay, thank you very much.